Well, hi everybody, how are you? Long time no see. I hope everybody's well. We're managing here. Um, great to see everybody. I'm glad to be back. And yes, I am back. Um, I have been on a two-year hiatus. Um, when the world stopped turning, so did I. So a lot has been going on in my life and um, was not able to film. So I'm back to filming. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm excited. Um, I have some really great ideas for the channel that'll be going on. Um, a lot of using what we have. That's kind of been the, um, what's the word I want to use? It's kind of been the, oh gosh, I can't think of it, but it's kind of been the mindset, I guess I should say, of people in the crafting world right now is that um, we need to use what we have because we have so much. And I've been, I've been crafting since 2007. So you could only imagine how much stuff I have in this 10 by 10 craft room that I have. So, I mean, I could probably get away with not ever going into another craft store again for years. <laughs> That'll never happen, but <laughs> that'd make my husband happy actually, but it won't happen. Um, so anyway, um, we're going to be spending a lot of time on using what we have, um, especially, you know, during, um, the lockdowns and whatnot, I purchased a lot of things and ended up not being able to, um, being able to use them. And now's the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to make two um, pieces of ephemera that are going to go into this. Now this is actually made out of this. Don't throw everything out. I mean, don't keep everything, but... Don't throw everything out. It's a little squishy. But anyway, um, I have two places where I know I want these two pieces of ephemera to go. So they're both pretty they're both pretty much going to be the same. So we're gonna do two at once. Um, so let me get a few things set up. Welcome back and let's get started. Okay. Here we go. This is the journal that I was showing you how I had made it out of a Amazon Prime mailer. I need to check something here. I have two pages that I have picked out um, that I want to put these two pieces of ephemera in. I need to check this. Uh, I'm going to say that's five and a quarter and I'm going to say that is five and a quarter. All right. How long is this? This is seven and a quarter. All right. That works. Okay. So the first thing I need to do um, is set this off to the side for the moment. If I set it over here on this pile, will it fall? Oh, God, I hope not. If you could only see what is around me. Um, and I know this is a hot mess. Oh, the autofocus is going a little crazy. Sorry. Ooh, I don't like that. Let me change that. There we go. All right. So this is the paper that I've chosen and let's go at six inches wide 
This is 12 by 12, so 6 inches. It's very strange um, for me to be creating and I don't have music going. Right, so this one looks like it's going to be a little bit short of the six inches. I don't know where this paper pad came from. So we can fix that. It's really not a big deal, but oops. I have a new trimmer coming for smaller things, but not for not for these. I think that would be all right. So actually, I brought that out to four. I'm going to have to bring it in a tad. Okay. Four, so that means it has to be eight. Okay. Honest, I hate math because I screw it up all the time. All right, so this has to come to eight. Oh, that's the wrong direction. <laughs> that would have been a catastrophe. But hey, catastrophe is my middle name. Eight. Yeah, like that. The same thing with this. And bring this out to eight. And I have two journaling cards. So I'm going to stick those. With journaling cards. And I need coffee dyed paper. Dye paper. Okay. All right. Um, yes, I'm going to back this in coffee dye paper because this paper is a little flimsy and I want to give it a little. So I'm probably need more of this coffee dye paper. So I'm going to set this over here. Um, I do like to use coffee dyed paper because I think it adds I think it adds to the um, grungy and um, to the grungy and to the that's the word I'm thinking of vintage feel of the paper. Yes, that was glue that just flew at me. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down. I'm going to glue the other one down. And then I'm going to sew it. So anyway, um, I told you I'd let you know what has been going on. 
So it's getting glue all over myself. I keep getting these notifications and I don't know how to make them go away. Sorry. Uh, I know I have a card here somewhere. I threw it in here earlier. I like to spread this out with um, a card because it makes sure that glue gets distributed evenly. All right. Wonderful. And I'm just going to use my scissors to cut this out. And don't worry, none of this will go to waste. I promise. <laughs> if I'm out of frame, I'm sorry. I apologize. It's just that it's been a very long time since I have filmed. And I'll let you know why. Um, you know, um, I am an educator. And I'm actually a special ed teaching assistant. And when the world stopped turning, so did my world. <laughs> but, um, when the world stopped turning, I had to go into e-learning mode because that's my job. You know, if you think about how anxious and scared all of us were during that period of time, and uh, I don't think that time is over yet. Um, they were too. So I really wanted to make sure that they had a sense of normalcy. I really want this on the, because it's really textured, so I want that. Mm. Okay, I want it this way. Anyway, so our if you think how nervous we were, just think about how nervous they were. So, that really takes a lot out of um, takes a lot out of you both emotionally, physically. Um, because not only are you trying to be calm and keep things together for your kiddos, but you also need to do that for your own family. Now, my son and I are both educators, so I will tell you, um, that as soon as we realized that, um, school was done. The first thing I did was um, contact the kindergarten teacher at our school because at the time my granddaughter was just in preschool. She's now in first grade. But um, and then I spent many nights up till three four o'clock in the morning putting together a um, classroom for her, for in her home. I found out what all of the 
kindergarten benchmarks were, all of her sight words that were that she was going to need to know, and I put together a classroom in her house for her. And um, that took a lot of work. And luckily with my son being a teacher, he was able to follow up and make sure that she was doing what she was doing, what she was supposed to be doing. So when her older sister was doing her e-learning, um, little sister was doing her own. I mean, I set up, you know, um, morning corner, which would be, you know, days of the week, the weather, the there's a whole thing that goes into that. But, you know, um, it took its toll on me and I wasn't able to film because I needed to take care of me. And sometimes that doesn't always work. <laughs> well, it works, but sometimes that means that I can't film. I lost my pin and it was right here in front of me. It's going to be one of those days. All right. So everything that I use here um, in the, in this video, you can tell it's been a while because it's a little stuck on top. Um, I will list below. I do have an Amazon um, affiliate store. So anything that you purchase through those links, I do get um, a very little stipend for that. But that also, by doing that, that helps me to be able to continue to create free content here for you on YouTube. All right. And of course, you know, I wanted to use the sewing machine and I put this on top of it. So I'm going to leave this here and this one here. And where's my pedal? Just hang tight. All right, and by the magic of voila, here we go. And I think I'm going to have to put a little bit of ribbon on here. So I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's ripping a little bit. But that's okay. Just adds to the character. So if I have it there. And then this is here. I think that'll be fine. I do believe that would be fine. Okay. So, let's do the same thing to this one. Now, yeah, this one's going to tear a little bit too. That's all right. Like I said, I'll reinforce it with some, um, just a little bit of lace or even, um, hmm. oh, no, is this wide enough? Well, yeah, it sure is, because this can go on the back, because there's not much to it.
and that can go on the front. Well done, that look cute. That'll be adorable. And that'll add some stability to the spine. Okay, so one of the things I wanted to do, all right, so that's good to know. We're going to do that. All right, one thing I wanted to do is I would like to take my vintage photo and I want to put lines on this for writing. So So let's see how this goes. Hmm. Okay. Well, I feel like that worked. And I think the more seasoned I get this little piece of paper, the the better it will be. I mean, this is a journal after all. But, um, so anyway, back to what I was saying. I don't even remember what I was saying. Sorry. But my family did get sick with COVID. And actually, just recently, my granddaughters got sick, which really stunk. Let that sink in. Okay, so now my little booklet has lines that you can drill in. So let's do that over here as well. Um, the youngest one, she was a champ. She was super. She, um, the first couple of days, um, she was the first one of the grandkids to um, get COVID. And then she bounced back pretty quick. I mean, she had a couple of days where she was not a happy camper. And, um, <laughs> you know, um, luckily my husband's a teacher. My husband, good grief. My son is a teacher. And, uh. So he was able to stay home with her. But then probably within two days maybe of her getting diagnosed. Well, then her sister got diagnosed. <laughs> you know, so when it rains, it pours. But the thing is, is that the little one, um, I shouldn't say little. She's not that little. She's in first grade. But she... Um, she really didn't experience the not being able to taste and smell. And of course, Chloe, Chloe couldn't tell you whether or not if her smell was gone because my nose is all stuffy and I can't smell anything to tell you if I can't smell. <laughs> like, girl, I got you. I get it. But the scary thing was is that she couldn't um, she things did not taste well so getting her to eat or drink was terrible 
it was a fight and god bless her little heart she just um you know she's very she's a very finicky eater anyway so i'll stick this up here with everything else um but yeah so she's a very finicky eater and she was not having it <laughs> all right i think i want my fabric tack i have to find my fabric tack i'll be right back okay so that's done for the moment let me get this ready all right now yes i am using something called fabric tack um, because I want it to hold the, uh, I want to hold this pretty good. The, uh, um, art glitter glue is really good for, um, for paper but if you're going to um if you're going to be sticking down fabric lace things like that you really want to try and use your um your fabric tack and i don't like to put it in i don't like to put the fabric tack in using the regular bottle I like to put it in a smaller one so I can control how fast it comes out and plus I like that it gives me a minute to move it around here a little bit now the idea just so you know and I'll link I will link her in the description below um, the woman who I got the the uh, YouTube person that I got the idea for this from is one of my I'll let that set for a minute one of my YouTube heroes <laughs> um, her name is Gail Augustinelli and I will link her channel below um, she does some pretty uh pretty awesome pretty awesome journals i need to clean up my channel meaning i need to go through and remove people that i really don't follow anymore or their channel is not real active Let that sit for a little bit. Okay. So this time I'm going to put it on here. But this um, also, this little uh, bottle that I'm using, this sugar bottle, um, you can get it. You can get it on Amazon. You can also get it. Um, at the crack, you know, like at Michael's in the cake decorating aisle, believe it or not. Oh, and I was going to tell you about this and how this all became a hot mess. Um, it became a hot mess because, um, I was doing uh, coffee dye paper and then I ironed it afterwards which made and I thought why am I using this you know I have a desktop ironing board but I thought why why am I doing that when I could just use you know the flat surface on this i mean this is 
this is a tempered glass with a you know a teflon <laughs> mat you know or these things on it and it's held down with um double-sided carpet tape this brown the, the teflon is and the double-sided carpet tape kind of didn't like to uh be used that way it didn't like the extreme heat so that's all right um i have a feeling that santa claus is bringing me a new mat Ooh, didn't that turn out nice yes yes can you see it you know it's very late here it's 2 20 in the morning <laughs> ay 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 But that's okay. You know what? I'm on Christmas break, winter break, holiday break. I'm on break. So it's okay if I stay up late. It also doesn't hurt the fact that I took a two-hour nap this afternoon. I usually don't like to do that because then that ruins, you know, your sleep for the night. But anyway, yes, I think Santa Claus is bringing me a new mat. Oh, and the other thing I did too while um, I was getting this filled, because like I said, this is a lot easier to use than this. This has a pretty big spout. this does not so it's easier to use so I have a whole variety of glues I use um, but I will make sure to put down what things I use in this project And as I said before, I am an Amazon affiliate, so whatever you use, I get pennies. <laughs> um, but after a while, um, it does add up. All right, let's see this notebook. Okay, I need my pencil. I need to know if this is going to come to about here. And all right, so now we'll set these aside. Actually, I'm going to set that up here on this pile. Please don't fall. I'm going to set these aside to let those finish drying. I'll set those up here. Now we're going to get these down. Because these are going to be our pockets. Okay. Ah, blew all over my fingers. Now. That's my pockets. All right. These are going to be the front. I guess it doesn't matter that I just wrote on there where I wanted the edges to come to because I guess it really doesn't matter. Most important thing is though the writing on here. I want it to go the same way. I wonder if I brought it all the way over. Save more room that way. Yeah. All right, so I think the easiest way, I'm dropping stuff that I've already got organized. I do try to be semi-organized. All 
I'm just going to trace it. I move that over just a smidge in case I messed up. And yes, that's my furnace you heard just kick on. Because it's, oh wow, it's only 48 degrees out. Which, you know, is actually really kind of, um, warm for this time of year. Okay. Sorry if I'm out of frame. Try to be in frame more often there. Sorry, friends. But also, you know, during this time of um, when we were um, really not going anywhere, <laughs> Amazon became my best friend, much to my husband's chagrin. And actually, you know what, I really shouldn't say that. He really doesn't um, complain too much about anything that um, I purchase because honestly I don't I'm not I'm not a really um, high maintenance girl if you know what I mean um, my son got married in October so I had my fingernails done I had French tips done and I don't normally wear nail polish. I don't know why. Well, I know why. It started out because I was working with a student for years who was very fragile. And I always needed to make sure that my hands are clean and my fingernails were short. Um, because at one point I was working with this one student and a student. And I rolled him over and scratched him with my fingernail. And I was mortified. His mother was fine with it. She was like, I do it all the time. But to me, no, that's not cool. Okay. Writing is going the right way. Sometimes it's really hard to tell. All right, yeah, the writing is going, writing is going this way. And the writing is going this way right now. These are going to be pockets. All right, got to think how I'm going to do this. All right. I think I know. All right, I'm going to glue this down.
it's going to get sewn so I'm not going to be too worried about it So that's going to be the front, and this is going to be a front. But um, I've been creating during this time. I'm so used to having music going in the background or a movie. I'm a huge Hamilton fanatic. I'm a huge In the Heights, Les Mis, all those fun ones. So here's what we're going to do. I need a punch. Hold on. All right. I'm just going to punch a little. Notch in the top. Throw these away. more concerned with the it's more of an aesthetic isn't it to have it so i'm going to sew around this but then we're going to glue this to this and this will have different stuff. All right, I'm going to sew. I'll be right back. Okay. Both sides done. Trash, 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 trash. Now... done. Get this done. I know this is like watching paint dry, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. I guarantee, I promise when this is all done, 
I just want to show you the process so that that way, um, if you would like to make this, you can. I'm going to grunge this up just a little bit. There. Oh, this one too. All right, we'll do that one too. Okay. That part of grunging up is done. I need some soda. All right, now, because I don't need these, so I'm going to set these up. And this, is it going to fit? Boy, by the skin of my chinny chin chin. And you're not going to really see it except for at the top. And that's my most concerning. Okay, that's perfect. Because up here is where you're going to see that the most. So... This is the inside of the back. I don't want you to look at the tag and go, oh, it's just got, actually, this is a pocket. Oh, there's nothing there but white. So we're going to fix that. And by the way, these journal cards, these are just in my stash. I literally, where's my card? Um, I literally sat one afternoon and just cut, you know, cut cards out. And really what I need, what I need to do is organize some of that because I've got so much of it. Okay, so these will go into the scrap pile. That's one done. You're not going to see that, so that's why I'm not too worried about it. Although I think I may do the top to just um, uh, ink it so that it looks so that it looks good. So anyway, um, I did a lot of my Christmas shopping online. Amazon is my best friend. And because I share my Amazon account with my daughter-in-law, um, you know, why not? To save money, we all share a lot of, um, of the streaming services and whatnot. Um, 
So between the two of us, oh my gosh, I think we kept Amazon in business. <laughs> but, it, you know, like I said, most of it is for the kids. I, I did get some stuff for my husband and he will not be left out on Christmas morning. Actually, I think he and I are going to open our gifts on um, Christmas Eve, which is fine with me. That way we don't have to get up so early and open our gifts. We'll already be done with that. But, um, yeah, Christmas has not always been actually, honestly, my favorite holiday. Um, it's just not. But... course you know for my granddaughters they love it I know this is like showing but it, it's okay you won't see it I'm more concerned with up here Okay, now what I'm going to do is now I have to do the backs of these. And I, up. Oh, it was right here. The whole time it was right here. So, I think I'm just going to glue these on and then cut them out. We're almost to the end. Gluey fingers. There's going to be a lot of glue involved. <laughs> Let me get to the end here. Because I didn't want to sew through all those layers. Yes, I better check to make sure my words are going the right way. Okay, yes, they are. Let that set for a minute. Get a pin. I just take a pin. No, just a dressmaker's pin. Probably shouldn't do this, but I do it anyway. Stick it in there. Okay, here we go. You ready? This is the back. This is the inside front. So, you know, there's probably an easier way to do it. I'm quite certain. But this is my way. Snip snips off here. I 
Yeah, but um, my granddaughter, I think, is finally starting to eat a little bit. She was kind of... We had to get a little um, stern with her and say, Hey, listen, you know, we know things taste really bad. We get it. But you really need... You really need to eat. More more importantly, you really need to get fluids because, you know, this isn't, you know, like the common cold. This is, this is Corona and you, you need fluids in your system to fight this. So, Grandma made many runs to the pharmacy to um, get her all set. Okay, now we're going to come back to this. All right, this is really the only part here that needs to be distressed and you know it's been a while like I said it's been two years since I filmed but it's been um, I should have loaded this up what I use when these start getting dried out you see that distress refresher extend the life of your distress products Use this product, use this, use this distress ink, use with distress ink markers and paint. So, there you go. Like I said, I'll, I'll list everything. In the description below, This is the back. No one's going to really see it. This one I want to be the front. I think this one. Okay. Now, I'm going to take these and glue them together. See, if I had sewn these all together, it would have been a hot mess because it's that would have been really, really thick to go through. Um, ooh, a little too close there, guys. Sorry, forgive me. This would have been a little too thick to go through the... Um, sewing machine so that's why I just sewed the top layer and you'd never know okay so uh, how about if we take the pin out I'm gonna go right about there and mind you I'm gluing on top of I'm putting the glue on top of where the stitching is just so that will also um, kind of secure that stitching. And I only went about halfway up, you know, like right to here, right where it starts to bend is where I stopped. There, see, you never would have known. Get my little scissors out here and just kind of snip. 
See, so does that look cute? It's cute, cute, cute. Now, mind you, all of this stuff I had in my stash. I did not have to buy any of it. I've had it. It's been sitting here. Okay, same thing. And again, the glue is going right on where I stitched, and especially over where I stopped. Okay. I'm going to straighten that out, make sure everything's good. I can do a little trimming over here if I have to. And of course, I'll do some more inking just to make sure everything is cohesive. Right now, while that's doing that, I have picked out some things to go on the front. Of here. Just to add a little something something. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just distress it. And just put when I'm putting something on top like that, I really. I really like to make sure that those edges are defined. So yeah, I think I'm going to put it like right there. Okay. There we go. That one looks pretty. Now this one, when I pulled it out of my stash, did not look as dark as this one. So I took some um, antique linen and went over that and it turned out really great. So it matches pretty well. But our next project that we're going to be working on is um, an organization thing. Oh, I forgot to distress that. Oh, well. Let's see what I can do here. Ooh, don't go crooked. There we go. We'll just kind of do it like that. How's that? Um, the one thing I've noticed is that as I was getting ready for this, oh my gosh, I have stuff like everywhere. And I really, I mean, little bits and bobs of things. There, you would have never known. So I'm thinking that I really need to create something. To, um, now watch me struggle to get these off. Well, for crying out loud.
um, to create a little container just to keep little odds and ends and bits and bobs. Like I have this that I have over to my side with little things in it. But I need something to go. I need more. Oh, are you coming? I think she's coming. Come on, come on. Really, come on. I love these things. I do. I love them. I love them. But they're so hard to peel. If anyone has any ideas on how to peel these. Now, to get this one, hi, yi, yi. I'm going to get these on and I'll be right back. You don't need me watch, you don't need to watch me do this. Okay, I got these two done, all ready to go. They're a little different. This one I put the fern in front of the flowers. This one I put the flowers in front of the fern. I think I like this way better. Oh, I know what I forgot to do here. I like to take my vintage photo and go over them like this. Oh, no, I'll show you. I'll take you out. Um, it just kind of helps it blend into the background. Just like that. So those are there. But gee, we need tickets to go inside there. So I have these. And I found the easy way to get these off. My fingers are a sticky mess. Just take this. Give it a little. Now watch it make a liar out of me. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Because I don't want just a bare tag going in there. I'm just going to take this. Kind of center it. Put that down like that. Kind of looks like it's been there all along. Okay. And I'm going to do the same on this one. See, look at how much easier that was. Woo! Oh, there it is. The guy should have told me where it was. Where I set, you know, I should not be left to my own devices to set things down and be able to find them again. 
Okay. So those look pretty cool. And then these are going to go in here. There's that. Where did this go? Yep. Let's do that because, you know, There you go. So, so if you can see it, some of the lights are a little bright. So there's some lines on back there for for journaling. And let's do the same for right here. journaling there put that up here get these get these need a little bit of a topper that's good scissors all right and I've got two of them okay so I kind of go like that that oops my frame sorry that and so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna glue around here and put that right there And I'm going to put this right here. All right, so there's your little topper there. Okay. So there's that. Can you see that? Whoa. Sometimes I think I think some of the lights are too bright. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So there's that. And then what do I do with my other one? There it is. So, there's this one. I'm going to that one okay so we got those two and now back to this 
and back to my book. Okay. So the first one is going to go right here like this. And this. Okay. Start along the stitching. And I'm going to do a lot right here. Woo! A lot of glue. This is how this is going to go down. Okay, just like that. Open it up. No, it's right there, but I need my pencil anyway because I just do. All right, so this I'm going to come down and come around and come up. Center that right about on there. Now oh, look at that. Some of the glue seeps up through where the um, stitching was. So I just want to make sure that that's well, nice and dry. That one turned out pretty good, huh? I'm almost done with this journal. Right here was the other one. these stupid alerts they make it hard for me to see where I'm at and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to glue this down real good especially because I really want to get those edges and it's a really good idea even though it seeps through a little bit, you just have to go back and check it. The stitching, just glue along the stitching. And then I just make sure I get a good coating of that.
take this. I'm going to go right about on that line. Set it down a little bit. You know, and all this was, was scrapbook paper that I had laying around. That's all it was. I don't even know who it was by, who it's from. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, so now comes this. And I'm going to start right about here. Along the bottom sides. Give it a good Hold that down. You know, it's funny. Gil was really right. She's like, I don't care if you guys, you know, make, you know, what I made, like ephemera wise, because it's not going to look the same because it's going to have your personality. And she's really right. I use different paper. I have a different, it's a totally different um, vibe to it. So... I'm going to leave these little strings hanging there just because I think they're neat. But I'm going to call this done, I think. Except for maybe a little bit of stenciling that I might do. It's a pretty, that's pretty. Oh, I wanted to put, oh, well, that's okay. So let me go through this. I'm going to um, zoom you in a little bit more. So you can get a better look of what is in this journal. First of all, the front just has a little dangly right here on a on a uh, uh, bulb pin, and I have the metal corners. This has uh, cheesecloth and coffee dyed paper. I do I do make my own coffee dyed paper. So in here is a pocket with some lace and a tag that's been stitched. And this has a little pocket thing. And these are some little clusters that I made. Flowers and some trim. I may add some more of this too as we go through here. I left a lot of room for writing. And then we have this. And again, <laughs> there's room for writing in here, in here. Here's another little side pocket with a, with that, and some little mushrooms and a butterfly. And here's another pocket with two tags. And a li another little cluster down here. Try to put lace on pages. Here's the middle. And there's two hearts here. And then two flowers. Here's another pocket. Some mushrooms down here. And another. I use a lot of book pages too. Because why not? Flowers and butterfly. Like I said, I... There's a lot of room for writing.
another butterfly belly band with two more tags in there. So that's it. I think I will call it done. Um, get in there, get in there. There's just, this is just sorry self, sorry ribbon. Um, I put two grommets on and there's the edges there. Two uh, eyelets, so these aren't grommets. And just put this through. And I think probably um, the day after Christmas, that's on Sunday, I think I may go ahead and um, list this in my Etsy shop. I will put a link for that in the description below. So I hope you liked it. I know this video went a little long, but you know, hey, I haven't done a video in a long time. Um, but I'll do some editing and things, so hopefully I'll get it down so it's not quite so long. I'm putting stuff away, sorry. <laughs> but I'm so glad to be back. Happy to see everybody. And we'll be doing more chit-chatting. I was more just trying to get back into the swing of filming again. It's been a, It's been a long time. Like I said, I've been... I've still been crafting. I've still been creating. I lost a pin. But, you know, I just haven't been filming it because, like I said, I was really working through some things that were personal and private. And um, that's what I needed to do. So, but here is the journal with the uh, two embellishments that we put in there. And I will take more pictures of that. And... I will see you on the flip side. So I have a really great night. And remember, I say this with every one of my videos, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. You need to be nice because it's really not that difficult. There's no excuse to treat anybody without being kind. There's, there's just no reason for it. There's no excuse for it. So on that note, y'all have a great night. Have a Merry Christmas. And this will probably go up for sale in um, in my Etsy shop. Uh, probably put it up the day after Christmas. And um, I'll link it in the description below. So y'all have a great night and I will see you later.